Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Wednesday, October 4th, 2017, and I'm Latricia Powell. Today's stories include the accidental shots fired code purple message and the Stephenville Metal Jackets robotics team that was selected to participate in the first robotics competition in 2018. These stories and more coming up next on Texan TV. In campus news, yesterday students and parents were alarmed by a post on Facebook that said shots fired. Tarleton State University apologized for the post six minutes later, saying the code purple message was accidental. Tarleton was testing the university notification system for a drill that is scheduled to happen on Sunday. Frantic parents became upset when they found out about the mistake. One person commented, you gave every parent a long distance heart attack. I am not happy to say the least. The Sunday drill is still on and will involve Erath County and Stephenville first responders, the University Department, and the Department of Nursing. In local news, according to the Stephenville Empire Tribune, the Stephenville Metal Jackets robotics team was one of the 29 teams selected from across the globe to participate in beta testing for the 2018 first robotics competition control system. Stephenville High School teacher Alan Mays says they, along with 29 other teams, will be testing and helping debug the new software for the upcoming season. All beta teams are expected to direct all issues regarding the new control system to the organization and transplant the software into an existing robot to perform testing. FIRST also expects beta teams to post findings on a bi-weekly basis, exhibit the highest degree of professionalism in their communications to the public, and agree to serve as control system experts. May says they are very excited for the opportunity and honored to have been selected. And now today's Texas national and international news from the Associated Press. In Texas news, the Austin City Limits Music Festival is offering refunds to anyone uncomfortable with attending following a mass shooting at a country music concert in Las Vegas. Spokeswoman Sandy Fenton said in an email on Tuesday that the three-day outdoor festival will give refunds to fans who no longer wish to attend. The festival opens Friday and packs Austin, Texas downtown with about 75,000 people each day. The offer comes a few days after a gunman opened fire at the Route 91 Harvest Festival in Las Vegas. Austin City Limits is one of the largest music festivals in the United States. It's headlined this year by Jay-Z and the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Austin Interim Police Chief Brian Manley says there will be a high presence of law enforcement at the festival. And in international news, former Vice President Joe Biden is writing the foreword to a memoir by transgender activist Sarah McBride, who made history when she addressed the Democratic National Convention last year. McBride, 27, first made headlines in 2012 when at the end of her term as student body president at American University, she came out publicly as transgender in the student newspaper. She went on to serve as intern in the White House that year, the first openly transgender woman to do so. In 2016, she became the first openly transgender person to speak at one of the major political parties' national conventions. And in international news, the last body known to be trapped in rubble following Mexico's magnitude 7.1 earthquake has been recovered, officials said Wednesday. The body was recovered from a collapsed office building in central Mexico City, where a steadily dwindling number of families kept vigil for two weeks as an international assortment of rescuers worked at work the massive rubble heap. It was the last known active recovery site. Roberto Campa, the Interior Department's Deputy Secretary for Human Rights, said via Twitter that 49 bodies were recovered from the site. They include 19 women and 30 men. The official federal death toll was not immediately updated, but on Tuesday, officials said 366 people had died in the September 19th earthquake. Of those, 225 were in the capital. However, Mancera said Wednesday the capital's toll had reached 228. In sports, according to the Associated Press, an American television channel has angered the family of former Olympian Oscar Pistorius. The Lifetime Network plans to air the film Oscar Pistorius, Blade Runner Killer, about how Oscar Pistorius murdered his girlfriend, Riva Steenkamp. 
The movie plans to tell the story from the perspective of Steen Camp and her mother of what allegedly happened when Pistorius shot her. Cal Pistorius, the brother of Oscar Pistorius, said that the film is a gross misrepresentation of the truth and that the Pistorius family will take action, will take legal action. Today's weather comes from weather.com. You can expect today to be partly cloudy with afternoon, this afternoon with a straight shower or thunderstorm. The high will reach 84 degrees and winds southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight's weather will continue to be partly cloudy skies. The stray showers and a thunderstorm is still possible with a low around 69 degrees and winds light and variable. This has been a production of Texan TV News, a product of the Texan News Service from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas. Watch us live on Apogee Channel 2.1 in the dorms at 12.30 on weekdays, and if you live off campus, tune in on Northern Cable Channel 9. You can follow the Texan News Service on Facebook and Twitter, and check out our website at www.texannews.net for all of your latest local, state, national, and international news. Today's broadcast was produced by Quinicia Fraser, Danny Hernandez, Rebecca Hernandez, Ashley Inge, and Channing Flat. Have a wonderful day, Texans.